Hi Scorpio, welcome to your connection reading for August 10th through September 9th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to, oh dear, got you plugged in still, which goes to Channeled Guidance Tarot. Much love and support to her and hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well. Um, this is intended for a romantic love reading. It may resonate in other areas of your life, such as friends, family, um, work, you know, job, career, that sort of thing, or money. All right, Scorpio, let's see what your connection is. Could be somebody from your past that you're still feeling connected to. Could be somebody new coming in, like a crush you have or something that may or may not feel the same. Could be somebody you're currently with. Scorpio. Seven of Swords. Is there an affair or cheating involved or are we having to be very strategic and careful in finding this person to be, oh boy, to be with? Death, all right. The Fool, okay. Four Cups. The World. Ten of Pentacles. And Seven of Swords. I'm not well, all right, I'll flip that one over. Nine of Wands. So that could be because you just had enough. <laughs> You've had enough. You're, you're like, you know, I'm, I'm wiser for the experience, but I'm not going to stick around anymore. I'm going to... It's about self-worth at this point. Okay, so what are we doing here? All right, so what's this, what's this fool about? What's this fool about? Four of Swords. What about this Four of Cups here? So we got eight, we got ten, seven, three. Again with the Nine of Wands that just jumped. <laughs> Isn't that amazing when that happens? What's this Four of Cups about? Five of Swords. Oof. What else for this Five of Cups? Ace of Cups. Okay, this Four of Cups, I should say. Did I say Five of Cups? I meant Four of Cups. Ace of Cups. All right, Five of Swords, Four of Cups. So what's this Death card about then? What's this Death card about? Mm, Scorpio. Okay, so... I think they still have feelings for you. I don't think they wanted things to end. Um, I think that you wanted just a break from the situation and you're like, I gotta go. I need to get out of here. I need to figure out my stuff and my what I wanna do. And I just, it could be that you strategically um, removed yourself from the situation. Like they didn't see it coming and you just disappeared. It could be that this was um, a third party situation or some kind of affair or something you've been waiting around for to happen and it's not happening. So you're like, I got to go. It could be that this person, um, there's something about, it could be that they're not, they're not being truthful about something, whether it's about the, whether they're not fully acknowledging how they feel about you or they're not acting on how they feel about you. There's something about both of you kind of having to strategize where it involves each other and things can't be like on the up and up. There's something about um, having to be very careful about this situation. And I think you're tired of that because I think you're the one on the receiving end of it. I think you're tired of that and you're wanting just to break free and to take some time away from the situation, if not remove yourself altogether. I don't know that you feel the same anymore. I think this person still has feelings for you and they, they're seeing you start to break away, do the fade, cut things off. It's almost like they're, are they stuck somewhere? Are they stuck in a situation? And you got tired of being the other person because they're not, it just feels like there's something about them 
watching you go with like this really like having a lot of regret watching you kind of go leave fade whatever and they're regretting it but they're not doing anything about it even though they feel a certain way for you it's very strange and i think that this has been a long time coming it's been someone you've been with for or known there's been some kind of dynamic between you that's been around for quite some time and i think it has unexpectedly taken a turn in the past month or so. And it, it there could have been a heated argument. There could have been somebody, um, one of you decided to just up and end it, which when I say one of you, I mean you, Scorpio. <laughs> because I think they, um, I mean, it could have been them. We got swords here. This could have been online communication, but it feels like you were the one that just decided I need something new. I need something about that's about me. And it was you trying to get in front of it, you trying to manage this after waiting around for so long. It's just 10 of Pentacles about. It's just 10 of Pentacles about for Scorpio. The Sun. All right, so that could be Leo. This could be Aquarius. This could be Scorpio. Also, boobies. Just saying. Everything's better with boobies. This jumped earlier. I'm going to put this right here. So, see, what's this? God, bless it, that <laughs> The King of Wands jumped, reverse. That is Sagittarius. This could be someone's not doing what they need to do. And the sad thing is, is that this is only over because you decided to end it because somebody else was not getting off their duff and taking decisive action and basically initiating the change that needed to happen so that you two could be together. They kind of just waited you out of their life. I mean, it, it, it took to what, I don't understand. I really don't. I don't know why if they feel that way for you, they didn't take action towards it unless you're on different continents or something. I mean, I, what's this eight of uh, swords about? Cause they wanted the security. They wanted everything to work out. They wanted to explain themselves. They wanted to, Finally come around, but I think it's too little too late. What's this Eight of Swords about? Wow. What's this? That's a Two of Cups right there. What's this world about? I'm going to put this right here. What's this world about? Besides boobies. What's this world about? Swift endings. Swiftness. Unexpected. Both of these are about unexpected and swift changes, decisive actions, um, unexpected communication, unexpected move. Both of these are about um, travel, movement, relocating. So is this just, perhaps it was you moved away and that was the end of it. Or you are making um, a decision to move away. You're like, I've been around here long enough. Not only am I moving on emotionally, or gonna try to, right? I'm also gonna physically move out of this space. So it's not just, um, you know, you being done with the relationship, it's you making a physical relocation or some kind of move because of that. We've got travel and movement with both of these and we've got swift, unexpected um, action. It looks like it's involving an ending. There's that. Um, and as far as this situation, no more doing anything. This is not about you waiting around anymore. This is not about you taking action or being in the driver's seat on this. This is about you holding back, not enacting anything. When it comes to this particular situation as far as romance or united love or united, um, this is, no, don't do it. You are to stand your ground and you are to stay put. This is not about you fixing it or making it happen. It looks like you're done with that. Looks like you're needing a much needed break from that. What else for Scorpio here? The connection is, for them it's there, for you it's not. Even, the thing is, is you might still care for this person. There might even still be a love there, but it is simply too little too late. So whatever is keeping you connected is only about the past and maybe nostalgia, but it's not active. The potential could have been there because this person certainly feels for you and you did for them at one time, but now this is not about you doing anything and moving forward towards this person at all. 
and it's not about being receptive because and it just feels like it's like too little too late honestly what else for Scorpio what else for Scorpio Seven of Cups. Again, with the too little too, too little too late. This is someone that always had so much going on. Um, we got two sevens here. That's someone who kind of was always in crisis or always having an issue. Oh, you know what I mean? There was just always a lot going on, and it was never about you. Someone maybe wanted to keep their options open, or they just. They didn't want to rock the boat with a certain situation because of the drama it would cause. So you're the one that had to eat it. But this is this could be somebody that's just always got things in the mix and is never able to really prioritize anything. Um, someone that kind of liked the idea of YouTube, but perhaps never took decisive action to actually have that happen. This is someone that kind of goes with the flow because they can't land on a direction or an agenda for themselves. So they end up being kind of commandeered by somebody else and kind of like, here, come on, we're going, we're going to go do this and we're going to go do that. And you're going to be my girlfriend and you're going to be my boyfriend and you're going to be. And because they've always got this dust swirling around, they kind of just go with whoever is strongest or, or, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of a sort of, it's not neutral and it's not passive, but kind of vulnerable. This is not somebody who leads. This is somebody who follows. Someone who doesn't take decisive action. There's always an excuse. There's always something else they have to attend to. It's just kind of chaotic. What else for Scorpio? This could be you feeling confused over this turn of events here too. Realizing that even though you still care, may even still be in love with the person, but it's you. It's two cards of endings. I mean, and this is definitive. Whatever was once before, there's been a change and you can't undo it. There's been some kind of shift that's happened. Like deep down, you know this to be true. You know whatever, which is that I just, it's just too little too late and I have to get out in front of this and end it or I'm going to be here for another 10 years. I feel like I just did this one. Ooh. Arcana. Okay, so this is something you know in your heart of hearts and your soul of soul. This is very unique because this is something, this is, you have an affinity for this person. And yet, by all accounts, it's not meant to be here. For the, what this is saying, if you just go by this, this is somebody who missed the boat that you two just, it, there was a love there and there was great potential. But for whatever reason, this person didn't act on it because you were waiting for them. And it's now it's like that ship has sailed. And even if you tried to get that feeling back, it's unlikely. And I feel like you know that deep down and yet you still have this bond with this person. There's still, there's something between you. All right, what else for Scorpio? All right, so we've got Ten of Cups there, and we've got Ace of Swords. So this would be someone realizing the truth about the happily ever after. This could also, sometimes the Ace of Swords uh, means death. We've got death here again. This is the death of happily ever after. This is a new direction, a change, a, a swift new decisive cut or severing of happily ever after it's almost as to say you this whatever cycle this is has ran its course and it's time for a new beginning we've got that here too a new beginning i don't i'm i'm wondering if this surprises you to know that like even though and i hate to say even though you don't realize it you're done i don't want to be you know but i mean i i wonder if this is just now dawning on you because this has been coming for the past like month or so i feel like this kind of awareness and I, I feel like i keep reading the same situation or variation of it but it just it feels like 
you're seeing whatever you've been involved in differently now and you're just ready for something different you're tired you're tired of the same situation and you're tired of the same excuses and you're tired of the same and then even after you leave even after you unexpectedly but decisively end this it feels like this person is still watching you go with like this forlorn look on their face they're still inactive Okay. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got something out of this. I, I, I'm not being negative for negative sake. It's just that this is, you deserve somebody that is kicking down doors to get to you instead of someone that, oh, I just, I just can't. I love you, but that's hard. <laughs> All right. I hope it was helpful. And I hope uh, to see you in the next reading. You take care.